Hey there, my friends. We are out in another crazy real estate market. And I'm Brew Krebs, your Midtown Atlanta real estate expert here today with an update of what's happening on the Atlanta real estate market. It continues to be a very interesting time in real estate and definitely a seller's market. Uh, we've seen some changes here uh, over the last year, certainly some tremendous increases in prices, uh, fluctuations in supply. Um, we normally have about 1.5 million uh, new homes coming on the market uh, in a given year's period. That has been uh, delayed considerably due to COVID and the lack of supply and the lack of workmen or workmen and and, uh, and trades that can actually get the homes built. Uh, so those are way behind. There are a lot permitted right now that should be hitting the market somewhere around uh, like August, September, October, uh, probably somewhere in that $1.5 million mark. However, there continues to still be a deficit in homes available for sale. And that, of course, creates a tremendous seller's market. For sellers, this is a fantastic opportunity um, for you to get into the marketplace and to sell your home at a very high number. Um, we are expecting some changes later on this year, so that's important to think about as well. Right now, median sell prices are just over $340,000. And if you look just from one year ago, that's almost a $60,000 increase in median sales price. What's also interesting to look at is the days on market has started to tick up just a little bit. So we saw it go about 12 days on market the first of 2021. Then we saw it drop way, way, way down. If you remember in about April of last year, we were seeing multiple offers and prices just jumping to insane rates. Uh, the days on market and, and that started to level out a little bit and started to increase as we came into 2022. Now, what is very interesting is we saw in the last month, sales drop off in a tremendous way. And the main reason for that is that the supply has dropped off in a tremendous way. Look at those two graphs. They're very, very, very similar. Uh, and that explains why there's not as many closing as there, there were in just a few months prior. The supply has dropped down considerably. We saw coming into January, we've seen some homes sell for some really amazing record, record prices. Um, but that's because there is a true lack of supply. If you're out there and you're a buyer, you need to be serious. You need to have your ducks in a row. You need to have somebody working with you who knows how to win the bid. Because uh, also it's important to consider that uh, interest rates are starting to change a little bit. Um, and here's what we're seeing in the marketplace. So we have seen year over year that market, uh, market rates for for the loans have increased considerably. Look at this, 3.77%. And if we were looking just at last year, you know, we were looking at 3.0%. We even saw some 15 year mark, uh, 15 year rates uh, in the, what was it? 2.74, 2.77. And the 10 years even lower, we're sorry, that's, that's the arm. And then there's the 15 years, two fours and the arms, they were very, very low. They're all ticking up. We expect that trend to continue. We expect to see rates somewhere around 4%, maybe even a little bit higher than that by the end of 2022. Now, we are going to have an influx of inventory, those new construction homes. There are about 1.5 million permitted that should hit the market somewhere around September, October, November uh, that will increase the supply in the marketplace, uh, but there's still going to be a glut. Now, interest rates will increase, so that's going to make Number one, your prices are going to increase throughout the year because there's such a short amount of supply. And then the cost of purchasing those homes is also going to increase. Now, you may be saying to yourself, oh, my God, you know, I haven't gotten into the real estate market. Uh, what should I do? Well, first of all, if you have been thinking about getting into purchasing real estate, whether it's your primary home, whether it's a secondary home, whether it's investment property, you really want to start thinking about that now. Now, we are expecting over the next four years for prices to continue to tick up. We do expect the interest rates to continue to tick up. Uh, I don't expect that's going to have a tremendous effect over the next few years in the uh, buyer demand. I think we're going to see it taper off just a little bit, but people are going to still realize the value of real estate. And it's, in fact, the absolute greatest wealth creation tool anywhere right now. More than stocks, more than anything else that's out there, people are gaining uh gaining capital gains on their homes in tremendous rates year over year right now. We expect this to continue for four more years. Then we expect to see some, uh, some declines uh, in 
the number of people that are buying, uh, maybe maybe prices might drop just a little bit and level out. Um, we're not going to see that continually crazy increase. So if you've been thinking about purchasing a home, while it is very much a seller's market, it's important maybe that now is the time to think about that. Uh, because when you start thinking about the interest rates increasing and prices increasing, the values of those homes getting higher and higher, um, it's going to make it uh, more expensive to buy that home in, in the coming years. While it'll still be worth it, um, you can really make some tremendous gains if you start thinking about jumping into the market right now. Uh, however, for my sellers, keep in mind, now is an excellent time to sell because you can command a huge amount of money for your price or for your home. And if you're considering moving up to the next level, this is something you also may want to consider because those new homes are going to be more expensive over the next few years. Uh, the real estate market does change very considerably on a regular basis. It's always changing. If you ever have any questions with what's going on in the real estate market in Atlanta or really anywhere, please feel free to reach out to us, uh, myself, by message, phone, anyone on my team. We'd be more than happy to help you. And don't forget, we have uh, pre-qualified connections with real estate experts all across the country. That means California, New York, uh, Washington State, Florida, really everywhere, Texas, uh, Arizona. We have people that we work with that we know are absolute experts in their marketplaces. Uh, and as I mentioned in most all of my videos, it's important to have somebody who knows the market that they're working in. A person who knows the market, knows the locations, know the, knows the buildings and all the great places to, to purchase or if you're selling, how to position your property to sell for the most amount of money is extremely important. And it's more important now than ever before because the market has gotten so complex. Um, so if you do need a real estate agent outside of Atlanta, please call on us for that as well. We've got a bunch of great folks who are fantastic in their marketplaces who sell at, uh, you know, high uh, intelligence and, and skill levels who can benefit you tremendously. So if you're looking for something out inside Atlanta, of course, call us because uh, we can help you right here. But if you're looking for anybody outside of the city of Atlanta, keep that in mind as well, because we have some fantastic folks that we work with all across the country, well, and really internationally. So if you know, need something anywhere, be sure that you're calling us. We'd love to help you. If you have any, just even you have any simple questions, want to know the value of your home, uh, want to know what's going on in the marketplace, we're, we're always here to help. So thank you so much. That is the market report for uh, this week. Today is Tuesday, February the 8th. I hope this provides you with some benefit. Uh, have a wonderful day. And hopefully we get to see you really, really soon.